when you just told me. Hi, everybody. Welcome. We're trying to play some music, but I'm not sure it's coming through. So I'll just say I'll speak a moment so you can hear the audio coming through, hopefully. Uh, and we will get started in just a few minutes when more people have joined us. Again, welcome, just so you know the sound is working. Uh, we are um, waiting for a few more people to join us and we'll begin in just a couple minutes. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, again, welcome everybody. We're waiting for just a lot more people to be able to join on. The numbers are just going up. How you doing? Doing in a few minutes. This is his graduation week for his Can I just make sure I'm muted? Again, we're just going to wait about one or two more minutes and then we'll begin. I see our numbers are up here. I also see that I think 60 people are watching us on YouTube as well. So uh, we've got both, both ways going. Uh, we'll just allow uh, just another minute or two for people to log in. Okay, well, welcome everybody. I think it's time we'll go ahead and get started. We waited just an extra minute or two uh, to allow people to join in. And as I said, some people have joined us uh, via the live stream via YouTube as well. Uh, uh, good afternoon, I guess. My name is Jill Vetton, and I am the chair of the chemistry department. Uh, and in the name of full disclosure, I just want to remind you that we're recording today's ceremony. Uh, it's being recorded on Zoom and it's being streamed live to YouTube. Uh, and so everything here is public, obviously. Um, if your family wants to join in on the live ceremony and they're not with you on the Zoom, they can search for my channel. So it's under my name, it's just Jill Venton. And um, the, it's streaming live there, but if you miss it live, it's gonna be there uh, recording. Yeah. You wanna see this sure. later. Um, and so, uh, you know, you can, you can go back and watch this at any time. Uh, so before we begin the formal ceremony, I think many people have their cameras on. I'd like to ask the graduates and the faculty to turn on their cameras for just a minute. So if you're a graduate or a faculty member, go ahead and turn on your cameras. We've taken down the slides on purpose. Um, I just want to give you a minute to scroll through the people that you're graduating with, right? We can't all be in person, uh, but one of the reasons we're doing this live on Zoom is so that at least we can try kind of to be together. So take a minute, uh, scroll through, uh, look for your friends, look for your faculty members. Um, I want you to remember that nobody makes it through school alone. Uh, right, you don't make it through undergrad or graduate school uh, by yourself. Oh, I see Rebecca and Meg are there together. Uh, right, you had study partners, you had lab partners, you had friends that you relied on, classmates that kept you sane, right, along the way. 
Um, and, you know, this is a time that you make lifelong friends. So just take a minute and look at your friends, you know, wave to them, et cetera, et cetera. I want people to realize, right, that, um, you know, uh, that, that, that we're all here together, even if we're still on Zoom. All right, well, one of the other things I want you to do, this is a little bit of an interesting um, time, is that many of you, because we're doing this ceremony by Zoom, might be with your family today. And so if you are with your family today, uh, I want you to just take a pause, uh, turn to them and give them a big um, thank you and tell them that you love them. Because it's been a trying time in the last year, right? Some of you maybe moved back home unexpectedly or spent one or both of these semesters at home. Uh, maybe others stayed in town, but it's been kind of emotional to be separated during your from your families during the pandemic. But either way, if you're with somebody today, take a moment right now and just thank them uh, if they are the people who have really helped to support you in this last few years as you've gone through your journey as a student. Okay. okay. So those were the thank yous uh, that I wanted people to see. Uh, if you want to thank, turn off your video, you can, or you can leave it on, doesn't matter to me. Uh, but I do want to welcome everybody, our graduates, our families, and anybody else to this ceremony. And as I said, we are sorry that this has to be virtual. If Cindy has her way, she hopes that she can maybe do something in person later. I don't know. We have to get university clearance on that. And you are at least going to get an in-person ceremony at the... Uh, one in the stadium tomorrow, but it is sad that we don't get to say goodbye in person. But nevertheless, um, we are really um, thankful for you and we want you to know that. And so while this year did not go as anybody expected, right, our focus today is on the achievements of you, our graduates. We are proud of all that you've done to achieve your goals and to receive your chemistry degree. A degree in chemistry is not just an acknowledgement that you know some science. It's an acknowledgement that you can persevere through some of the hardest classes in the university. You have learned critical thinking skills, problem solving, and communication skills. Many of you that are graduating have taken our several of our classes that have switched to an active learning format. And what you've learned there is oh, the which is a really invaluable skill uh, for real life. Um, and you've also hopefully learned to pursue knowledge, not just to memorize facts. And these skills will serve you in the, in, well in the, whatever field you choose coming up, be it medicine, law, the chemical industry, sales, military, graduate school, or quite frankly, something entirely different. Uh, in the midst of the pandemic, I think we've been all reminded how much we need scientists um, in this time to address our society's biggest challenges. Um, you know, we're thinking about medical challenges a lot in the last year, right? Um, and I think chemistry students will be critical in the future to addressing questions such as drug discovery, uh, vaccine development, and patient care uh, for diseases right. you know, such as the coronavirus, but quite frankly, many more. However, there's other pressing societal problems as well, like the need for new energy sources or the design of smart materials. And all of you as chemistry graduates are going to have the background to tackle these kinds of large challenges. But no matter what you field you go into next, even if you don't choose to pursue a scientific career, we need you as now a trained chemist to be clear communicators to the world, to your family and your friends about scientific problems. I hope that sometime in the last four years, you've gotten a taste kind of for scientific discovery and research. Uh, and I also hope that maybe some of you got a taste for some things that maybe aren't as practical as the examples I've given before. I think one of the best things about being a chemist, uh, especially in academics and university, is that we don't always have to do research that is inherently uh, useful. But sometimes we can sit back and just kind of fulfill that human desire to understand how our world works. And that's really important, too. And so today we're celebrating your accomplishments. Uh, we want to tell you that we're proud of you. Uh, you really have persevered through one of the you know, hardest academic times that we've had. And we know that you're going to go on to do great things. You've developed many chemistry skills, but also much resilience. And so please keep in touch as you go on to your next journey. Let us know how you're doing. Um, we love to keep involved with all of our alumni and our chemistry who's. 
And so with that, we're gonna to go to the main part of our ceremony today, which is where we get to read your names and celebrate you. And so Associate Chair, Professor Charles Grisham will read the names of all the graduates. Uh, Cindy Knight has prepared slides. And so you'll see their pictures come across the screen if they sent them in. Uh, and at the, after the reading of the names, um, all, we'll have a small video and a chance to kind of give ourselves a big cheer uh, as we go on. All right, so for now, let's go ahead to the part where we get to celebrate you and read your names. Professor Grisham, you're on. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Joe. Good afternoon, everyone. And congratulations to all of our graduates. I'm going to read the names of all our graduates as we go through. And I hope this is uh, a time to celebrate each one of you as we go, okay? First, Marie Alexandra Adam, BA in chemistry and a minor in physics. Cindy says, hold on. She doesn't quite have the slides up. I thought so. I was waiting to see those. <laughs> We're waiting to see the slide come for Maria. Okay. Uh, not yet. All right, we can see her now. Cindy, can you get to slideshow mode? Okay. Oh, uh, you're back to slideshow mode. There we go. All right. All right. Go on. Marie Alexandra Adam, BA in chemistry. Zachary Connor Booker, BA in chemistry. Kyle Bryant, BA in chemistry. Clifford Wayne Cleveland III, BA in Chemistry. Akshima Diman, BA in Chemistry. Kyle Keith Doty, BA in Chemistry. Christina Frenea, BA in Chemistry. Taylor Hartman, BA in Chemistry. Anthony Wynn, BA in Chemistry. Dylan Christopher Jones, BA in Chemistry. Sophie Marie Kirshner, BA in Chemistry. I'm going to take a time out here. I'm trying to read the awards as well for everyone. So uh, excuse me for a second while I put these on a different machine. Let's do it this way. All right, this will work better. Lauren Grace Killian, BA in Chemistry. Ardeen Kim, BA in Chemistry and a minor in Psychology with University Distinction. Jungmin Kim, BA in Chemistry. TJ Kitts, BA in Chemistry. Kiana Lajavardi, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Economics. Benjamin Francis Levadis, BA in Chemistry with University Distinction. Devin McDonald Lucas, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Spanish. Julia Lynn Lucktong, BA in Chemistry and a minor in Religious Studies with University Distinction, Phi Beta Kappa. Kathy Mavie Wynn, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Computer Science. Allie Price, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Psychology with Distinguished Majors Honors with University Distinction and recipient of the Hugh Miller Spencer Scholarship Award. 
Rachel Elizabeth Rumana, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Psychology. Becca Schelling, BA in Chemistry with highest distinction and university distinction, a BA in Psychology and a minor in Biology. Phi Beta Kappa, recipient of the Frederick S. Richardson Award for Excellence in Chemistry. Spencer Anthony Sherman, BA in Chemistry. Gabi Zabo, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Women, Gender and Sexuality with University Distinction. Brayton Taylor Thompson, BA in Chemistry. Victoria Wong, BA in Chemistry and a BA in Computer Science. Sarah Weisflog, BA in Chemistry and a minor in Biology. Sally Almadawi, BS in Chemistry with a specialization in Biochemistry. Chase Allen Amos, BA in Chemistry. BS in Chemistry with a specialization in Biochemistry. Hannah Ash, BS in Chemistry with a specialization in Biochemistry with highest distinction and ACS certification and minors in Psychology and History and University distinction. Tom Baker, BS in Chemistry with specialization in Biochemistry with ACS certification. Joseph Daniel Balaban, BS in Chemistry with a specialization in Biochemistry. Alexa Gray Bartels, BS in Chemistry with ACS certification, a BA in Global Studies, University Distinction, and recipient of the Chemistry Department Undergraduate Teaching Award. Kira Roan Baugh, BS in Chemistry with ACS certification and a BS in Environmental Sciences. Sophie Ann Breedveld, BS in Chemistry with specialization in Biochemistry with ACS certification and University Distinction, Phi Beta Kappa and recipient of the Carl O. Trendle Award for Excellence in Chemistry. Grace Catherine Breiner, BS in Chemistry with ACS certification BA in English and University Distinction. John Paul Burke, BS in Chemistry with ACS certification. Luke Ryan Cavanaugh, BS in Chemistry with a specialization in Biochemistry with ACS certification, a BA in Psychology with Distinguished Major Honors and University Distinction. Maura Elise Charret. BS in Chemistry with Specialization in Biochemistry. Ji Chen, BS in Chemistry with Specialization in Biochemistry and a BA in Mathematics. Austin Chung, BS in Chemistry with Specialization in Chemical Physics with High Distinction and ACS Certification and University Distinction, a BA in Computer Science and recipient of the ACS Division of Physical Chemistry Undergraduate Award for Excellence. Fatma Chowdhury, BS in Chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction and recipient of the Royal Society of Chemistry Certificate of Excellence Award. Samuel Coates, BS in Chemistry with ACS certification. Sky Taylor Coffey, BS in Chemistry with Specialization in Biochemistry with University Distinction, Phi Beta Kappa. Neil Dial, BS in Chemistry with a Specialization in Chemical Education with University Distinction. Julia Melu Dressel, BA in Highest Distinction, ACS Certification and University Distinction, BA in Environmental Sciences, recipient of the ACS Section Outstanding Student Award, the ACS Division of Inorganic Chemistry Undergraduate Award for Excellence, and the Robert Burnett Undergraduate Teaching Award. Fadi Jakob Ebraham, BS in Chemistry with Specialization in Biochemistry. 
Olivia Frank, BS in chemistry with ACS certification and a minor in Spanish. Timothy James Freeman, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction, Phi Beta Kappa and recipient of the chemistry departmental award for excellence. Joshua O'Neill Gibson, BS in chemistry with ACS certification. Pramod Gramma, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with university distinction. Alexander Javier Granadas, BS in chemistry with specialization in environmental chemistry. You Emily Hahn, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification, BA in biology and university distinction. Emma Christine Harrison, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a minor in health and well being, university distinction, Phi Beta Kappa, and recipient of the Chemistry Departmental Award for Excellence. Patrick Andrew Hart, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction, and a minor in Spanish, Phi Beta Kappa recipient. Phi Beta Kappa and recipient of the Robert G. Bryant Award in Excellence in Chemistry. Josh Kweku Himan Aka, BS in Chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a BA in religious studies. John Hendricks, BS in Chemistry with distinction and ACS certification and university distinction. Dalton Lee Halavsky, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification. Lue Khaled Hussein, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification. Timothy John Irish, BS in chemistry with specialization in material science. Lindsay Alexandra Irwin, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction and a BA in Spanish and recipient of the chemistry departmental undergraduate teaching award. Kelly Nicole Isbell, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a minor in anthropology recipient of the Oscar R. Rodick Alpha Chi Sigma Chemistry Award. Arad Jain, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction, second major in Chinese language and literature, recipient of the ACS Organic Chemistry Undergraduate Award for Excellence and the Francis Carey Undergraduate Teaching Award. Caroline Elizabeth Johnson, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry. Jacob Leeton Kaminer, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction, Phi Beta Kappa. Francis Lucille Knight, BS in chemistry with ACS certification. Annika Victoria Cott, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry. Nicholas Youngbach Landy, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a minor in statistics. Burke William Lawler, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction. Maria Leonderidis, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a minor in Spanish and recipient of the Chemistry Departmental Award for Excellence. Brandon Lean, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with university distinction. Evan Watt Lyerly, 
BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification, university distinction, and Phi Beta Kappa, recipient of the American Institute of Chemists Outstanding Senior Award. Alyssa Noel Montalbine, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with highest distinction, ACS certification, and university distinction, recipient of the ACS Division of Analytical Chemistry Undergraduate Award for Excellence and the ACS Student Chapter Award. Grace Ann Nahorny, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry. Travis Noel Nelson, BS in chemistry with ACS certification. Kelly Lauren O'Toole, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a BA in French. Molly Farrell Owens, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification. Sophia Theodora Park, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a BA in music with distinguished majors honors and university distinction. Emma Caroline Parker, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction. Gloria Francis Petzella, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with university distinction. Michelle Tuetni Pham, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry. Neil Pillai, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a minor in data analytics. Michelle Kathleen Poblete, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with highest distinction and ACS certification and university distinction, recipient of the chemistry departmental award for excellence. Jacob Quentin Mullins Polson, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification. Lauren Joan Power, BS in chemistry with ACS certification and university distinction and a minor in mathematics. Sarah Prunty, BS in chemistry with ACS certification and a minor in environmental sciences. Ramia Haima Ravi, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with distinction, ACS certification and university distinction and a minor in leadership and public policy. Nua Reza, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a minor in bioethics. Kobe Clark Rogers, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a minor in Spanish. Abel Ruiz, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction. Lauren Ruth Santucci, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with university distinction. Zachary Clark Siegfried, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry and a minor in bioethics. Connor Gerard Siggins, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry and a minor in sociology and university distinction. Madeline Sita, BS in chemistry with a specialization in environmental chemistry with ACS certification and a minor in astronomy, recipient of the Alpha Chi Sigma Chemistry Award. Priya Talwar, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry and a minor in women, gender and sexuality and university distinction. Daniel Richard Tarr, BS in chemistry with ACS certification and university distinction and Phi Beta Kappa, recipient of the Chemistry Departmental Award for Excellence. Mark Charles Stell, 
BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a BA in economics and university distinction. Joseph Vin Huang Tran, BS in chemistry with ACS certification. Philip Ngoc Tuan Tran, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry. Courtney Stephanie Vetter, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a minor in philosophy, university distinction and Phi Beta Kappa. Janeway Wang, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a BA in psychology, university distinction and Phi Beta Kappa. Muyan Wang, BS in chemistry with ACS certification and a BA in mathematics, university distinction and Phi Beta Kappa. Kate Morgan Wilsey, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a minor in psychology, university distinction and Phi Beta Kappa. Tatiana Jean Wirth, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification, recipient of the Robert Bryan Undergraduate Teaching Award. Miranda Catherine Wood, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification. Olivia Wood, BS in chemistry with ACS certification. Amy Yang, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and a BA in art, university distinction and Phi Beta Kappa. Hanji Liu Yang, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry with ACS certification and university distinction, Phi Beta Kappa. Kevin Yoon, BS in chemistry with a specialization in biochemistry Ashlyn Zoper, BS in chemistry with specialization in biochemistry. And we move on to the Masters of Arts in Chemistry with Carrick Clark Searley, Master of Arts in Chemistry. Eric Hubbard Hunt, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Ethan Jones, Master of Arts in Chemistry. Amber Elizabeth Kelly, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Colton Allen Kitterman, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Joseph Salvatore Kuner, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Shuo Liang, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Anthony Pellegrini, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Holly Marie Tubbs, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Megan Lewis Woodland, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. Christopher Joshua Barger, Masters of Arts in Chemistry. And now the Masters of Science in Chemistry. Austin First Dunn, Masters of Science in Chemistry. T. Ling, Masters of Science in Chemistry. And now the Doctors of Philosophy in Chemistry. Mohammed Oveiz Azizanjani, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in analytical chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Enrichment and Identification of Phosphorylated and Glycosylated MHC1 Peptides from Clinical Tumor Samples and Marine Models under the direction of Professor Donald Hunt. And Professor Hunt will say a few words if he's here. Professor Hunt, take it away. I don't see Professor Hunt here. So I'm gonna step in because I was on Mohammed's committee uh, just to say that Mohammed's research 
uh, is in mass spec and a proteomics work uh, where um, he is trying to figure out uh, post-translational modifications of proteins. And so these are ways that everybody might have the same protein, but it might not be modified in the same way. And so trying to figure that out and how that applies to disease uh, might allow us to do better diagnostics or underso- understand disease states later in the future. Uh, and so that was uh, the subject of Mohammed's research and we're proud of him for earning his PhD. Jason Robert Borges, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in Biological Chemistry. Title of his dissertation is Determining the Role of Spontaneous Adenosine as a Neuromodulator Using Fast Scan Cyclic Voltammetry. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Venton, and she will add a few comments about Jason. Yes, um, so Jason, worked on a molecule in your brain and being able to detect it called adenosine. And adenosine is important uh, because it's uh, it's a modulator that uh, may allow your brain to kind of shut off when signals are too much. Um, And so all of you actually kind of know drugs that act with the adenosine system. If you took any caffeine to make it through (laughs) this graduation season, it actually turns out that caffeine works on adenosine receptors in your brain. Uh, But he to see if there were sex differences uh, in between adenosine signaling in both males and females. And we found some really interesting uh, kind of differences. And so these are really important, again, if you want to think about drug discovery or any targets that are going to look at this molecule in the brain, we need to know how it works in both males and females. And so that was really the critical title of his work. J.T. Brosnahan, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in inorganic chemistry. And I'm looking through my list and trying to find JT's information. It seems out of order. Uh, I I should speak up. I actually got a master of science, um, but I appreciate it. (laughs) Very good, JT. Thanks guys, yeah. (laughs) Okay, congratulations. And that's why you're not on my PhD list. That makes perfect sense, but congratulations. Kun Kao, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in inorganic chemistry. Title of his dissertation is Nanofabrication of Carbon Electrodes for Neurotransmitter Detection. And he also did this work under the direction of Professor Jill Venton who will say a few words. Yes, so uh, Schwinn's work was in really, uh, in novelty of it was in 3D printing. So you may have heard about this technology of 3D printing where you can kind of um, 3D print things in plastic. In this case, we 3D printed things in photo resist. Uh, But believe it or not, he was able to 3D print an electrode that was nanometers in size. Uh, And so uh, we're really the first people, he's the first person ever to really 3D print something uh, that was that small. And then we used these tiny electrodes that he was able to make uh, and put them in the brains of things like fruit flies to make measurements of neurotransmitters. So congratulations, Swin. Megan Catterton, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry with a concentration in analytical chemistry. Title of her dissertation is Development and Improved Fabrication of Microfluidic Devices for Local Delivery to Investigate Properties of Healthy and Inflamed Lymph Node Tissue in Ex Vivo Slices. And she did this work under the direction of Professor Rebecca Pompano, who will say a few words about Megan. Yes, so Megan tackled the challenge of making tools to be able to look at what is going on inside of live tissue as cells communicate with one another. And particularly, she was interested in how immune cells talk to each other. For example, after you get a vaccine, what goes on in your lymph nodes as they're responding? And it turns out that regular tools that are available in typical uh, biology laboratories aren't capable of seeing how cells communicate with one another at the resolution that we need. And so Meg took on the challenge of inventing her own tools, and she used a set of techniques called microfluidics, where you make chips using technologies that are equivalent to what are used uh, 
in in computer chip fabrication. And so Meg mastered all of that uh, technology and made chips that she could use to deliver drugs to just one part of a piece of tissue with extremely fine control, like just a few hairs width across. Um, and then she wanted to be able to have the tool be useful for other labs to use. And so she too turned to 3D printing and converted from this computer strip style fabrication to 3D printing, which is friendly for other labs to use. And along the way, she invented a new way of doing Teflon coating of the chip, essentially, and new chemistry to do that. So she's really accomplished a lot in her time here and also been a leader in the lab. Um, and I have Meg here with me, and so we wanted to do the hooding, <laughs> if that's okay. So we're gonna, so the traditional hooding for the PhD. Congratulations, Meg. Thank you. <laughs> We'll consider that virtual hooding for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and on to Shunyan Gu, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry. Title of his dissertation is Studies of Rhodium and Iridium Complexes Relevant to the Catalytic Functionalization of Hydrocarbons and Alcohols. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Brent Gano, who will say a few words about Shunyan. Yeah, thanks, Charlie. Um, so much of uh, many catalytic reactions by molecular and homogeneous uh, systems proceed through transformations that involve uh, formal change in oxidation states of the metal center. These changes in oxidation states often uh, come with major changes in the, the actual structure of the complex. And the, the changes in oxidation state and structure have profound implications on the energetics of, of catalytic processes. And so one uh, key fundamental approach to trying to improve the rate of catalytic processes, is understanding how to control the energetics of these different states and catalytic reactions. So one of the major uh, areas of emphasis of uh, Xuan Yin's research was try to understand how we could design ligands to destabilize very stable intermediates in these types of catalytic reactions, in particular for alkane functionalization, so that the activation barriers for them to proceed in the catalytic cycle would be reduced. Uh, so congratulations, uh, Xuan Yin. Um, we're very proud of your work and looking forward to uh, your future efforts as a chemist and scientist. Qishang Jia, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry, with a concentration in physical chemistry. Title of his dissertation is Structure and Diffusion Dynamics of Dopamine and Its Derivatives on Carbon Surfaces with Complex Morphologies. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Kateri Dubey, who will say a few words. Great, thank you, Charlie. So dopamine is an important molecule in brain function. And researchers would really like to be able to detect its presence in the brain tissue with a high degree of resolution, both in space and in time. Um, and the Venton group uh, has been pioneering, and you just heard a little bit about it, new ways to do these sorts of detections using electrochemical detection techniques. And these, uh, a lot of the new uh, methods involve carbon microelectrodes. And it turns out that the surface structure of these microelectrodes influence their ability to, to detect dopamine and in ways that are not fully understood. So in his thesis, Xi Zhang used atomistic simulations to explore dopamine's behavior on different types of carbon surfaces. And he discovered that dopamine's motion on the surface depends on both the surface curvature, as well as things like grooves or edges along uh, carbon planes, um, and also on the exact chemical form of dopamine itself. So congratulations, Xi Zhang. Xiaofan Jia. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in Organic Chemistry. Title of his dissertation is The Development of Late Transition Metal Catalysis for Hydrocarbon CH Activation, Studies of Ruthenium, Palladium, Rhodium, and Copper. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Brent Gano, who will say a few words. Thanks, Charlie. Um, well, you can tell from the title that uh, Xiao Fan did quite a bit of work. I'll also note he did some work and was co-author on a paper focused on some palladium electrochemistry as well, which didn't make it into his thesis. Um, 
I, I guess I'll summarize the what I would consider the major portion of Xiao Fan's efforts, and that is focus on fundamental studies of new catalysts for arene alkylation and alkenylation. Uh, alkenyl and alkyl arenes are uh, useful in a, in a range of products, and uh, the, these types of compounds are actually produced on a scale of, of billions of pounds per year. Uh, our group has been interested in developing and understanding a new uh, route to produce these compounds that we think could have uh, potential, uh, several potential benefits. Uh, Xiao Fan um, discovered a palladium catalyzed styrene synthesis, uh, a, a new mechanism that allowed us to optimize the selectivity from what typically would be in the range of 20 to 30 percent up to almost 90 percent selectivity. Uh, he also extended some of our rhodium catalysis into the fine chemical area, and I'll note that he's a co-inventor on a patent that we just submitted two weeks ago based on, on uh, that work. Um, and I will just mention that he is currently in a postdoc position at Yale University, where he's working on a new catalyst for valuable products from carbon dioxide reduction. Congratulations, Xiao Fan. Shay Lynn Johnson, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry with a concentration in organic chemistry. Title of her dissertation is Novel Catalytic Methods of CO and CN Bond Formation. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Michael Hilinski, who will say a few words. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, what Freddie's thesis focused on was uh, new applications uh, for the use of catalytic atom transfer reactions uh, uh, towards the synthesis of um, uh, drug-like molecules and, and other molecules of, uh, uh, and motifs found in bioactive, uh, bioactive compounds. Um, one of the uh, challenges uh, for synthesis is to find unique ways to install atoms like oxygen and nitrogen. Um, selectively uh, into uh, alkanes, for example, and other hydrocarbons uh, in order to uh, add value to those types of products and uh, make them more useful as starting materials for synthesis of these types of compounds. And so uh, toward this end, uh, she developed some organocatalytic uh, CH hydroxylation methods, um, organocatalytic uh, uh, nitrogen transfer uh, reactions for the uh, azero donation of olefins uh, and developed um, some of the, uh, the first examples of uh, uh, nitrogen atom transfer used in a cycloaddition reaction uh, to make uh, uh, six-membered heterocycles. Um, <clears throat> I should note that now um, she is uh, up uh, in, uh, in her desired location of, of Toronto, uh, Canada, um, involved in a postdoc um, where she is uh, applying some of the skills she developed in chemistry to some uh, medicinal chemistry and drug discovery applications. Andrew Walter Lee Kinman, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in analytical chemistry, Title of his dissertation is Modification and Applications of Antibodies and Their Fragments for Immunostaining in Live Lymphatic Tissue Slices. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Rebecca Pompano, who will say a few words. Yes, so Andrew graduated um, in summer of 2021, um, and he spent his time in the group working on the challenge of how do you look at what is uh, going on inside of tissue by looking at how we could label different molecules inside the tissue to make them fluorescent, which means essentially making them glow under a microscope. Um, and so he worked extensively with reagents called antibodies um, and worked out the chemistry for how to break them into pieces small enough to enter into tissue. What are the methods that it takes to get them onto the right cells and not the other cells in the tissue? Um, and then he worked on putting them together in novel ways using a type of chemistry called click chemistry um, in order to be able to make special reagents uh, to look at things that the people to this day um, are not able to do. And, and Andrew's work really laid the foundation for um, future projects that are now going on in the lab. And we're very proud of him. Um, and he is now uh, a research scientist at Xeno Diagnostics, 
helping with, with uh, assays to develop vaccines and other therapeutics. Zhongwen Luo, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in inorganic chemistry. Title of his dissertation is The Mechanistic Study of CH and HH Bond Activation and CC Coupling Reactions at the Interface of Homogeneous Catalysis and Heterogeneous Catalysis. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Brent Gano, who will say a few words. Thanks again, Charlie. Uh, so I previously mentioned that a large part of my group's effort is focused on new molecular and homogeneous catalyst for the synthesis of alkyl and alkenyl arenes. Based on some of the studies uh, reported by other groups on related rhodium catalysis, as well as some data we had from our group, we suspected that heterogeneous rhodium catalyst might be effective for uh, the same types of processes, uh, which would provide some potential practical advantages. So a large part of Zong Wen's effort was to try to translate uh, the catalysis that we had observed with molecular rhodium precursors to uh, supported rhodium uh, nanoparticles. Uh, this part of Zongwen's thesis work was in collaboration with Bob Davis's group in chemical engineering. And Zongwen uh, performed a, a detailed series of mechanistic studies and um, quite surprising to us, I actually was able to demonstrate that in contrast to the typical motif where homogeneous rhodium will be decomposed to heterogeneous rhodium, which is often the active catalyst for related processes, Zongwen's heterogeneous rhodium catalysts actually leach into solution to form molecular and soluble species, which are the active catalysts. Uh, Zongwen currently works as a consultant for uh, Data Revive, uh, where amongst other things, he provides technical advice to pharmaceutical clients who are filing uh, through the FDA. So congratulations, Zongwen. Becca McLeod, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in organic chemistry. The title of her dissertation is Leveraging Chemical Proteomics and Mass Spectrometry to Investigate Kinases under the direction of Professor Don Hunt. And I don't know if Professor Hunt has joined us. Don, are you here? Ken, could you step in if Don's not here? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> Becca was co-advised uh, uh, between me and Don, and um, Becca's thesis was um, really impressive. She uh, combined um, chemical biology and uh, mass spectrometry um, to um, understand um, uh, or define uh, uh, new ways to tackle a, a challenging class of uh, lipid kinases known as diacyclosterol kinases. Um, a lot of her work, um, uh, or we're still pursuing, uh, following up on a lot of the uh, findings from her work. And, and um, I think right now she's at Abbey, so I hope she's doing well. Um, I'm sure she is. And so um, congratulations, Becca. Aspen Clements Miller, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in physical chemistry. The title of her dissertation is Kinetic Monte Carlo Simulations of Ice Processing from the Lab to Interstellar Environments. And this work was done under the, uh, under the direction of Professor Rob Gerard. And Rob will make a few comments if he's here. Would anyone like to speak on Rob's behalf since he doesn't appear to be here? Don't see Rob. I don't know if there's anybody else who could speak. Sure, I can. So Aspen did um, models looking at, at, at growth of, of ice crystals in um, outer space. There is a, I'm not gonna use the right words, but um, there are uh, dust grains and onto them uh, ice crystals can begin to grow and the, the dynamics of all of that is very interesting. And so Aspen did a lot of modeling that showed um, how all of that works in very interesting ways. So thank you. Congratulations, Aspen. Asa Nichols, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in inorganic chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Storage of Energy and Chemical Bonds Utilizing Earth Abundant Molecular Electrocatalysts, Improving Catalyst Design Through Understanding Mechanism. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Charlie Mahan, who will make a few comments. 
Yeah, I'd be happy to. Asa has completed a tour de force PhD, defining some new reactions and synthesizing some very interesting compounds with iron and cobalt centers and pushing the limits of our understanding in how those metals can activate can small activate. molecules like dioxygen and CO2. Uh, today is his last day in the lab, and we're sorry to see him go, but we're very excited for his next opportunity. He will be beginning a postdoctoral researcher position at Los Alamos National Laboratory in a little over a month, and we're looking forward to seeing uh, the ways he can challenge and push our understanding there. Mm. Anchi Shui Scott, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry with a concentration in analytical chemistry. The title of her dissertation is Novel Analytical Systems for Rapid Forensic Nucleic Acid Detection. And this work was done under the uh, direction of Professor James Landers, who will say a few words. If I'm not see seeing James, but I was on Anchi's committee, so. Um, I'll say a word. Um, yeah, Anchi was involved in a really large project to try and develop portable devices to be able to identify people. This is really important to the military. Uh, maybe if they have casualties out in the field that they will be able to go out and get a DNA sample and be able to identify something. So Professor Lander's lab has had um, money from the DOD to try and um, make a device out of almost like a portable CD player uh, that, that has a chemical chip on it uh, that can do DNA analysis. And so Anchi was involved in many different kind of facets of this device um, and developing these chips uh, uh, to be able to do DNA analysis. Riley Elizabeth Sundstrom. Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry with a concentration in Biological Chemistry. The title of her dissertation is Applications of Molecular Rotational Resonance Spectroscopy to Challenging Analysis Challenges in Pharmaceutical Chemistry. This work was done under the direction of Professor Brooks Pate. Brooks, if you're here, you can say a few words about Riley. Okay, <clears throat> thank you, Charlie. Yeah, it's a real, real pleasure to, uh, to be able to make some comments on, on Riley's work. Riley uh, joined the research group in the spring of 2017 after graduating it from Bucknell. And she came into the group at the time where we were really trying to move a technique that had been developed over about the course of a decade in, in really in the depths of physical chemistry, chemical physics, uh, and really trying to move that into wider use in analytical chemistry. And that's what her work was focused on uh, here at Virginia. And her work was supported by a commercialization grant from the Virginia Biosciences Health Research Corporation with collaborators of Breitzbeck, uh, Frank Gupta at VCU, Park Carlier at Virginia Tech. And through that mechanism that allowed her to go out and, and work with, with uh, chemists and industry, largely the pharmaceutical industry, uh, with collaborative projects at Merck, GSK, AbbVie, and a lot of work with BASF. Yeah, well. and, and I have to say, this was just, you know, a, a, a really challenging thing for an incoming graduate student to do, to jump in and be the face of a new technique in analytical chemistry, working with the top scientists in, in these pharmaceutical companies. And so this involved going out, talking with them, trying to understand their problems, figuring out whether we had a chance even of solving their problems, and then going back and doing it and, and showing them the results. So this was actually a lot of Zoom meetings even before Zoom meetings was a thing uh, of working with all these groups. So this involved juggling at any time, probably six or seven different projects, uh, being on short time schedules to deliver results to, to our industry collaborators. And it was a, a really impressive piece of work. Uh, her poster presentation at the 2018 Chirality meeting was the top student poster that led to an invited speaking engagement at the 2019 Chirality meeting, which was the last uh, pre-COVID one. I also point out that Jimmy Segue, Riley was a graduate teaching assistant in, in Chem 3821. And I know that a lot of you on from the undergraduates went through that course. And I know all of you who went through, the, through that course in the last two years had to, to deal with the, the huge disruptions with COVID. And I just want to thank all of you. You all did an amazing job at, at, at dealing with a lab course that was really not set up for, for virtual labs and, and making the best of it. And she worked with uh, some students in that group to develop some new techniques for analyzing deuterated compounds, which led to a collaboration with the Harmon Group here at UVA, working on their amazing chemistry that was reported in Nature last year. 
and then some another collaboration with the Clark Group at Marquette that the uh, first results are out in JAX this week. Uh, Riley's currently working at Brightspec and, and really, again, just did an amazing job. So thank you, Charlie. Emmanuel Turowitich, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in Organic Chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Development of Chemical Probes to Profile Functional Tyrosines in Live Cells Using Sulfur Triazole Exchange Chemistry. And this work was done under the direction of Ken Su. Professor Kenneth Su will make a few remarks for Emmanuel. Yeah, so uh, we're real, real proud of everything Emmanuel's accomplished. Um, you know, he was involved in a uh, one of these team effort projects to really <clears throat> um, develop new reactive groups for a lot of the chemical proteomic studies um, uh, and projects that we have in the group. And you know, he was uh, him along with three other graduate students, or two two graduate students, one research scientist, really co-developed um, these sulfonyl triazole compounds that are uh, um, really uh, been really well received in the field. Um, and so. Uh, Emmanuel right now is um, a, a health uh, consultant at uh, Health Advances, and I think he's doing extremely well. I, I know I've talked to the people who hired him, and they're really happy with him, and and so we're um, um, you know proud and excited to see um, uh, his career continue to progress. So congratulations, Emmanuel. Fang Wang, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry. The title of his dissertation is multi-stimuli responsive luminescent dye materials. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Cassandra Frazier. Cassandra, if you're here, can you say a few words? I just don't think Cassandra's here. Is anybody, was anybody on the committee or available to say a few words? I can say a few words. Um, yeah, so um, Fang was working on projects uh, looking at luminescent uh, reagents. That means that they release light um, on, under certain conditions. And, and he was developing different versions of those, changing the molecules so that they luminesce, um, for example, when they're exposed to friction um, and uh, to be able to get what's called tribal hey, luminescence. Sorry, one sec. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay. Um, so um, to be able to look at those when they're exposed to something that's being touched or um, as a sensor. Um, and he did a lot of work just with that, that type of chemistry and, and being able to tune the colors and the sensitivity of these different sensors. And so um, we're very proud of, of Fung. Timothy Brandon Ware, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry, the concentration in biological chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Characterization of Diacylglycerol Metabolizing Enzyme Functional Specificity in Native Biological Systems. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Ken Su, who will say a few words about Tim. Yeah, so Tim's research is really centered around understanding how fat molecules signal the body and to identify features of enzymes that can control specificity of this form of cell-cell communication. Um, it's a real important problem and the chemical structure of lipids we know are, are critical for biological activity and even changes what type of food you order at, res order at restaurants, but fundament fundamental understanding of the structure function relationships of these biomolecules, especially in living systems like cells is remain elusive. So Tim really was a tour de force. He developed a multidisciplinary thesis project that used temp chemical biology, bioanalytical chemistry, protein engineering, and even animal behavioral studies to help tackle this question. Um, I have no doubt his findings will translate into new ways to tackle inflammation and immune suppression and cancer. So congratulations, Tim. It's really been a pleasure to work with you and watch you uh, mature into the confident independent scientist that you are today. Um, we all wish Tim well in his postdoctoral studies at the Scripps Research Institute and we're excited to watch his career tra trajectory continue to soar. Eric Willis, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry with a concentration in physical chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Simulations of Chemistry in Star-Forming Regions and Cometary Ices. This work was done under the direction of Professor Rob Garad, and Rob was not here before. Would anyone like to speak for Rob and about Eric?
If not, we'll go on to Ting Yan, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry, with a concentration in physical chemistry. The title of her dissertation is Protein Diffusion Analysis and Aberration Correction in Single Molecule Localization Microscopy. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Andreas Gallman. Andreas, if you're here, would you like to say a few words about Ting? Sure, thank you, Charlie. Um, uh, in, her, in her PhD work, uh, Ting developed new methods for single molecule uh, microscopy uh, that, is, that we now use for single molecule tracking. And single molecule microscopy is a, a method or a subfield of fluorescence microscopy that affords higher resolution uh, and also more importantly, the ability or the sensitivity to interrogate single molecules. And as such, a, a paradigm in the field is that researchers really need to understand the fluorophores that they use for labeling. And the, the obvious properties uh, that come to mind are, of course, the fluorescence emission and excitation wavelengths or the, the quantum yield of fluorescence. But Ting took this one step further. Um, she characterized and, and measured how single fluorescent proteins move in living bacterial cells, which is, of course, critical for using uh, these fluorescent proteins as probes in tracking experiments. She also developed computational methods to uh, correct the aberrations in our microscopes, which is um, important and helped her to um, improve the accuracy and precision of her measurements. Um, I and, and the rest of my group, we greatly uh, enjoyed working with Ting. Uh, she set a very high standard for diligence uh, in the lab, and I believe this attention to detail will serve her very well in her future career. So with that, I'll, I'll wrap up uh, and I say thank you, Ting, for all your hard work. Um, it was a pleasure working with you and best of luck from all of us in your future endeavors. Mingxing Zhang, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry with a concentration in physical chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Non-Invasive Imaging and Single Cell Analysis of Three-Dimensional Bacterial Biofilms. And this work was also done under the direction of Professor Andreas Gallman. Andreas? Yes, uh, uh, Mingxing uh, began his PhD work with us also working like Ting on single molecule localization microscopy. But then about two years in, he agreed to take on a new project, um, one that doesn't interrogate single molecules in, in living cells, but single bacterial cells in larger communities called biofilms. As part of this work, he built a new microscope in, in our lab called a lattice light sheet microscope, which is currently the state-of-the-art method for non-invasive high-resolution um, live cell imaging. Um, he built microfluidic devices to make this microscope compatible with bacterial specimens. And so now we have the capability in the lab to, to image bacterial populations under very well-defined physical and chemical conditions. Um, his PhD work also had a very large computational component, uh, which now took us into the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, and for this component of his work, uh, Mingxing was supported by a presidential fellowship in data science. And all these multidisciplinary skills that Mingxing developed during his work uh, were highly sought after, uh, so that uh, immediately after graduating um, in, in December of last year, he was recruited to China's Northeastern University where he is now an assistant professor. So we wish him uh, best of luck in, in, in that new position and congratulations. Yulu Zhang, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry, the title of her dissertation is Tuning Multimetallic Phosphide Nanorods and Hetero Nanostructures for Electrocatalysis. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Sen Zhang. Sen, if you're here, would you like to say a few words about Yulu? Thanks, Charlie. So Yulu is my first student at UVA, and she is a first PhD graduate from my group. And uh, it's it's been, it's been great fun learning and working together and pushing the boundary of science in the, in the last five years. So Yunu's work is centered on synthesizing new materials, especially the nanostructure materials uh, that can be used as a catalyst to split in water to generate hydrogen. So hydrogen is a clean fuel. It's a cornerstone for the future sustainable energy and society. And Yunu's materials allows rapid 
and low cost generation of hydrogen fuel without a, without a uh, carbon emission. Uh, it's a fantastic work and very soon you know, will join the academic publishing company Wiley as a scientific editor. So congratulations, you knew, and we're very proud of you. Jiangmin Zhang, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry. The title of his dissertation is Self-Organization Induced Sequence Regulation in Step Growth Copolymers. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Kateri Dubey. Kateri, would you like to speak for Zhangmin? Of course. So, uh, Zhangmin's work um, focused on copolymer simulations. So copolymers are long chain molecules uh, where the monomers are made up of more than one type. Um, and so the most famous copolymers are DNA, RNA, and proteins. And they are famous because of all of the things that they do. But, and they can do all those things because the sequence of those copolymers is very well controlled by all of the biomachinery that's in the cell. But when we make synthetic copolymers in the lab, we don't have nearly the same level of control over the actual sequence of what's connected to what in copolymers. And so uh, in Zhangmin's thesis, he developed a new model to um, simulate a copolymerization reaction, a very simple one, kind of one pot reaction, um, and showed that very slight differences in attractions between different types of monomers could give rise to an emergent behavior where you have um, certain types of monomers within the chain start to come together and that actually influences the sequence um, of the polymers that are made from that point forward in the reaction. Uh, so congratulations to Jean. Wei Hao Zhu, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry. The title of his dissertation is The Study of D8 Transition Metal Catalysts for Oxidative Arene Alkyl Alkenylation. And this work was done under the direction of Professor Brent Gano. Brent? Thank you, Charlie. Um, as you can see, my, my group has lost tremendous expertise on the arene alkylation and alkenylation project this year. Uh, so Wei Hao also worked on this project, as you can tell from the uh, thesis title. And while he made uh, many substantial contributions to our understanding of the rhodium catalyzed uh, chemistry, I, I would say that he, he had two uh, primary contributions that were very, very impactful for our group. Uh, one of those is we had been using, and still to this day use copper two as an in situ oxidant for these reactions. There are some potential advantages to just using air or purified dioxygen even in situ as the oxidant, but there are tremendous challenges uh, chemically from thinking about how OO bonds are broken and how you add hydrogen to them and, and et cetera that prevent very... Okay, Brent froze on my end. Products oh. or catalyst egg, rhodium catalysis and, and use air dioxygen from air, which was a great achievement for us. Uh, the second uh, aspect is, uh, uh, am I back? Sorry, my internet disrupted for a minute. Um, since 2015, when we first published uh, rhodium catalyst, we've been trying to understand uh, the mechanism and what the active catalyst uh, is. And it's been uh, very uh, challenging to study and they uh, actually isolated, got a crystal structure of what we believe to be the, the actual active catalyst, which was a rather unique uh, bisrhodium copper uh, trimetallic species, um, which allowed us to explain a lot of observations we had made, but to that point did not understand. And I'll, I'll just make a, a quick side note about uh, his impact. Uh, the results of Weyhaus' work um, gave seven publications in journals with impact factors greater than 10, which is really just a, a remarkable accomplishment, I think. Uh, Weyhau is uh, currently in a postdoctoral position at the University of Pennsylvania with the Kozlowski Group, uh, working on new catalysts for polymer functionalization, as well as the discovery of uh, new uh, methods for organic synthesis. Uh, congratulations, Weyhau. 
And that concludes our introduction of all of the graduates. And I'll turn things back to Jill Benton. I just want to say congratulations to all of our graduates, undergraduate and uh, graduate alike. I know many of you from my own courses. Uh, I've gotten to know many of you as TAs in our courses. And I just want to wish you all the best. You're going to change the world someday. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm going to invite everybody to unmute and clap for each other. Uh, thank you all. Um, so we're going to end today uh, with just a little video uh, from your faculty <laughs> to congratulate the graduates to you. Uh, again, it's not an easy way where we can't see each other in person, but we just have a little uh, video uh, from the faculty uh, to thank the students. So let me see if I can get that up. Congratulations, UVA chemistry graduates. You have overcome many obstacles. You have learned a lot of chemistry over the last four years. You flew through introductory chemistry. You conquered carbon in organic chemistry. You've mastered the rest of the periodic table in inorganic chemistry. And you've learned about the chemistry of life in biochemistry. You've been amazed by instruments and applications in analytical chemistry. You have taken quantum leaps through physical chemistry. You've watched your lab skills grow as well. You're a master of synthesis, proteins. You've even learned some computation along the way. You've been our partners in discovery through undergraduate research. You made us think. You've made us smile. It's been our privilege to be your professors. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations on earning your chemistry degree. Continue to pursue your dreams. Please keep in touch and let us know how you are doing. And remember, you will always be part of the UVA chemistry family. Okay, well, thank you to everyone for attending today. Really, you will always be a part of our UVA chemistry family. Uh, and so we're proud of you. Uh, have fun and be safe walking the lawn tomorrow uh, at Scott Stadium. Uh, and again, thank you so much uh, for all you've meant to us the last uh, four or five years, depending on graduate or undergraduate. Uh, we really are proud of you. And um, thanks everybody, you may be dismissed, thanks. Or come on and shout at your favorite professor or the chat, send something through the chat to somebody. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Cindy, for organizing it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Cindy. I forgot that to say that. Thank you, Cindy, for all the behind the scenes making this work. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. You're welcome. Congratulations, everybody. You'll be missed.